Hi guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. So in today's video, we're going to continue to open up that ThreadUp DIY jewelry box that I purchased from Phoenix, Arizona. This five pounds of repurposed jewelry. And if this is indeed your first time here, my name is Christine and my channel is called Girlio and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay and I do direct sales through YouTube. So if you're interested in anything you see in this video, please feel free to contact me at girlyorocks at gmail.com and we can definitely work something out. And I don't take orders through the comment section down below, so please email me with a screenshot and timestamp of the items that you're interested in along with your YouTube name because all of the pricing here is for subscribers only. So make sure you're subscribed and provide me with your YouTube name so I can verify that you are a subscriber, along with your real name, your mailing address, and your PayPal email address. And we can go from there. And all the instructions are down below in the description box. And I do ship internationally. Shipping starts at $5 for everything under a pound. If you go over a pound, shipping will be based on location and weight and international shipping will be based on location and weight as well. Okay guys, let's dive in and see what's left. So there's a lot left and I see a lot of fashion jewelry. So I hope everyone is doing well and everybody had a wonderful 4th of July and it was safe and relaxing. This is a very beautiful earring. It looks like it's a crochet, not a crochet, but um, a knit fabric that has been put over this ball. So that's cute. Let's see if I match that. And then we have these earrings here. These are fashion earrings. And we have some crosses. We have some tassels, hoop earrings here. Really cool. And these little tassel earrings here. If anybody wants this one, this one will be dollar. Okay. Next we have some fashion jewelry in package. It's going to make a crinkle noise, guys. See if I can take it out of the package without making too much noise. So we have this and it's very beautiful. These look like, let's see what it says on the package here. It says turquoise and tiger eye. And these do Feel like real stones they're cold to the touch so let me take the presidium i don't know if we can test the tiger eye and see if it registers as anything let's move this over let's see yeah this is definitely a tiger's eye it's registering somewhere between jadeite and spinel and quartz amethyst citrine and then we have this turquoise stone which is probably dyed halite, I'm thinking. So we have this. This is very beautiful. We have the chip earrings. And then we have these chip nugget. This is a triple stranded layered necklace. So this measures approximately, it's hard to tell exactly, but approximately it's about I'm going to say 18 inches, and then the earrings are about two inches long. That is really beautiful. And this is just silver tone. Oh, really lovely. And if anybody wants this one, this one will be $10. That's cool. Okay, next we have here some earrings. These say accessory connoisseur, and are cute with the little pyramids. It's really awesome looking earrings. We have these. Okay. Next we have some more fashion earrings. All sorts of studs, silver tone, hearts. We're missing one here. So you have one, two, three, four pairs. Anybody wants this one? This one will be a dollar. Okay, we have some more fashion earrings. These are really pretty. Pretty colors. If anybody wants this, this will be a dollar as well. And we have here Crystal Avenue. Okay. That 
that these are real stone. I'll we'll take it out of the package. Could be those cool to the touch. These are beautiful though. Kind of look like howlite. Bring the presidium over here and see if these test. Hmm. These are just. Oh well, it could be howlite. Or glass. I'm not sure. But they are beautiful nonetheless. I like these a lot. And these measure about two inches. So if anybody wants these, these will be pretty. Let's do these for four. Okay, next we have these earrings. Oh, I love these earrings. I have a pair of these evil eye earrings. These are gorgeous. And yeah, they're just beautiful. I love these a lot. These are just fashion earrings. But really cute. Um, let's ask a dollar for those. Okay, let me have something in a bag here. And it says modern cowgirl. Modern cowgirl. Live for today, inspire for tomorrow. Okay, never heard of that, but this looks like leather. Suede, um, looks like leather. And has this interesting closure here. This is a bracelet. I think I received one of these in my past boxes. And yeah, I think that one was metallic. This one's pretty cool, it's red. And yeah, let's get a measurement on this. This one's approximately, I'm gonna say about seven and a half inches. That's pretty cool. If anybody wants this one, this one will be five dollars. All right, that looks good. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, we have this necklace here. We have an earring attached to a necklace. This is pretty. Gold tone. Let's see if I can match to that. Then we have this necklace here. Looks like tortoise shell. No, it's not. It's polka dotted. That's cute. And this is glass. Really pretty polka dot glass. We have a lobster clasp here. This is a long necklace, so this is the top of it. And this is the bottom of it. That's really pretty. These feel like they're acrylic. No, they're going up to glass. But they feel like they're acrylic. I think they're glass. Not going up to glass on presidium. I think these are acrylic. I think this is all acrylic, but it's pretty. Um, let's get a measurement on this. I think it's all acrylic. This one measures 19 inch drop, so that is 38 inches around with a three inch extender. It's beautiful. Cute polka dots. Love polka dots. If anybody wants this one, this one will be $4. Okay, next we have a stretchy here. And it looks like faux pearls. I don't know if these are glass. Let's see. They're, they're just acrylic. The stretchy, if anybody wants that, that'll be a dollar. This beautiful earring. This Really sparkly beads here. But let's see if we find a match to that one. I don't think this is marked. Nope, no mark. Okay. Oh, I think we found a match. These are beautiful earrings. I love these guys. They are stunning. And there's no mark on them. That's the back of them. They're beautiful. They do remind me of like bobble bar earrings. 
I'm surprised they're not marked. They're stunning. And I love the muted colors on this one with the grays and um, yeah, I love these colors. Beautiful. Sm dark and smoky. I love that. Dark and smoky. This is sparkly too, so I love this. Really pretty. And this is gold tone. And these measure approximately three inches. Beautiful, stunning earrings. Let's do these ones for $6. I love these. Okay. Next we have we have another one of those earrings, but this one has a twine wrapped around the ball. So you find a match to that. And we have this bangle here, really pretty. This does not have a mark, but this slides around here. Let's see if this is a stone. No, it's not even registering as glass. So this is brass, and then we have this little sliding square here. It's cool, I love the color. Don't know if it's adjustable. I don't think it is. So let's get a measurement on this one. This one measures in at seven and three quarters. I love the color combination on that. If anybody wants this one, this one will be $4. Okay, and then we have this, which has a gunmetal color, toggle clasp. And then we have these red stones, which look like glass. Really pretty. Be sure these are all glass. Yeah, they're all glass. This could be ceramic on top, I'm not sure, but very beautiful. Love the sort of baby coating on these faceted stones. So many beautiful beads here. Look at this guy. You can see that. Look at this crackled, sort of foiled glass one. Beautiful red stones on here. And let's take a measurement on this. This one is 16 inches wearable length. If anybody wants this one, this one will be $5. That's beautiful. I love that. Okay, we have something in a little tiny bag here. Just has some numbers and some Asian writing there. Let's see if we can get this out of the bag and see what it is. You can see what's in here. Okay, we have this. Oh, these are cool. So we have like a hexagon. And these are threader earrings. So you thread this little sort of post through your ear in the chain and it'll hang like so. And you can adjust the length of it. You can make them longer, you can make them shorter. Okay, this has a little pink. Okay, so these are really cool. Really cool earrings. Yeah, so let's do these. I don't think these are sterling. I think they're just fashion. Well, you never know, right? Let's test real quickly. Let's do a scratch on these. No, I don't think these are sterling. But they're really cool. And if anybody wants these, these will be $3. These are fun, brand new. Thread our earrings. Okay. Let's see what else we have in here. We have the stretchy. And we have these black beads. Sort of has a artisan sort of tribal ethnic feel to it. And these stones. I think these are all glass or ceramic. And then we have a little pavade disc here. Really cute. This one measures about six and a half inches. Stretch on this is really good. If anybody wants this one, this one will be $5. That's pretty. 
I have a little earring here with some nuggets. I don't know if that's turquoise. I don't think so, but we have that. Let's see if we find a match. Okay, we have some more modern cowgirl jewelry. I've never heard of this brand before. Maybe you guys have. But let's see. So these are all new on card. I wonder if these were artisan made. Um, so this one came out here. So I think it just needs to be hooked back on. Let's see. If I can get my jewelry plier here and hook it back on really easily. Let's see. Okay, they are back on and good as new. So we have these two guys here. And I don't know if this is a stone again. I'll bring in the presidium. Let's see if these do test as. stone. These are registering. Yeah, these are probably how I do these for $4. Okay. Next, oh, we have this little heart earring, which I think we saw in part one, but I don't know where the other one is, so I'll have to locate that. Okay, next we have some more modern cowgirl. This one. Oh, these are fun. These look very like southwestern, definitely has a southwestern feel to the jewelry here. These have a shepherd's hook and these are, have a little bit of weight to them. And these look like they're sort of an antique silver with a slightly coppery wash, I'm not sure. But I think all the rhinestones are there and that's the back of them, very cute. And let's see if this is a stone, if this is halite as well. I think it could be. Yeah, I think these are halite. So, let's do these for five as well. These are fun. Okay, let's see what else. I think we have some more modern cowgirl. I wonder if this was somebody's collection or maybe these are... I don't know. Part of somebody's inventory. These are gorgeous, guys. These are gorgeous peacock earrings. They're articulated, they're brass. These are totally up my alley. And we have the beautiful pavade rhinestones. Um, let's see what this stone could be. Let's bring this in. I mean, the stone looks a little off center here, but it is secure. Let's take this and see. Okay, these are just acrylic. So these are not stones, but these are fun earrings. How fun are these? And they do have a little bit of weight to them, but they are super cool, super fun. And these measure about four inches. So these will be $5 too. Okay. Oh, so we found the other earring here, these super cute rhinestone earrings. Very fun. This is the back of them, very lightweight. If anybody wants these, and I don't think these are diamonds or sterling, nope. These are going to be $3. These are cute. Okay, some more modern cowgirl. Okay, and these are these are more lightweight than the previous ones that I showed you. These have the feathers, very cool. The rhinestones, and this one has a coral colored stone, but I'm pretty sure that is acrylic. These are beautiful. And these measure approximately about two and a half inches. These are not bad in terms of weight. So if anybody wants these, these will be $5 as well. Brand new on um, card. So that's cool. Um, we have some more fashion earrings. These are really cool. We have a lot of pretty fashion earrings in here. And these are studs. We have the stars and this little peachy one. This will be a dollar if anybody wants. Then we have this bracelet. 
oops, it is not sterling, definitely not, but it's got this textured design on it. And let's measure this one. This one's about six and a quarter. I think it's pretty malleable. You can stretch it a little bit or make it a little tighter. So if anybody wants this, it's really cool. This one will be four dollars. It's nice. And have some more modern cowgirl. We can do this quickly. And this one, I had this one before, but I didn't have the tag with it. And this is another one of those leather cuff bracelets. This is a really pretty metallic color. Very cool. And this one measures in at six and a half. Make sure. You know, if you're wearing it, it's about six and a half. So, if anybody wants this one, this one will be five dollars. Okay. Next, we have another cuff, and this looks like an artisan cuff. This is really interesting. It's definitely metal with some paint. And it's really cool design here. It definitely looks artisan made. There's no mark on this. It's really, really interesting angle. And I think this probably could fit my wrist. It's definitely malleable. You can pull it apart. It's really cool, artisan looking bracelet. Let's get a measurement on this one. This one measures about six and a quarter. There's definitely some give on this one. So if anybody wants this one, this one will be, I don't know, this one will be seven dollars? That's pretty cool. I don't know. Okay, next we have a hoop earring with some pearls and gold tone, wire wrapped. Very cool, we find a match. We have this bangle here, a really beautiful bangle. Looks like it is enameled. Got these beautiful colors here. Sort of has a Bollywood feel to it. Really pretty. This is a clamper. There are no marks on this. Beautiful though. I love that. And this measures in at around, I like to say, seven inch wrist. So, if anybody wants this one, this one will be eight dollars. That's beautiful. Okay. Then we have this guy. We have a, I think this is a tree of life. We have a love, a life, truth, I am, and a little acrylic faceted AB crystal. It looks like an Alex and Ani, but this is not. This is pretty. Let's get a measurement on this. This one's about eight inches. Very cute. I like this one a lot with some beautiful charms here. So if anybody wants this one, this one will be five dollars. Okay, moving along. Oh, we found a match to this earring here with the little different colored nuggets. These are cute. With the purple, the red, the blue, and the green. I'm not sure if these are stone or if they're acrylic. Let's see. This is measuring in a glass. That's glass. And I think these are all glass stones or beads. Really pretty colors on them. I like those a lot. And I think this could be sterling. And we'll take the 18K solution to it and test and see if the posts are sterling. And they are. So these are sterling earrings on sterling um, shepherd's hooks. So if anybody wants these, these will be six 
six dollars. Very cute. Okay, let's keep going. Next we have this torque gold tone. It looks to be it's like a gold tone wrapped around um, it's gold tone. It has a V shape to it. Yeah, this one seems to be in good condition. I don't see any plating loss on this one, as I often do with these kinds of pieces, but this one's in great condition. Um, so we have this torque here. If anybody wants this gold torque, I'm very fashion forward. Uh, let's do this one for $10, that's cool. Okay, the next, oh, we have this good guy here. This says Ria Fashion Los Angeles. And we have the matching earrings, and then we have it's a big giant lobster clasp in there, and these different sized beads, and it's multi-stranded, so I love gray, this is my color. So it starts like this, and it's very, very long. So I'll take a measurement from approximately the top to the shortest. And that is 18 inches, and then from the top to the longest is a drop of 15 inches. So this is a major fashion piece. And um, yeah, matching earrings. And these are acrylics. So if anybody is interested in this one, let's do this full set for $5. Okay, next we have some more modern cowgirl here. And this modern cowgirl was marked at $24, okay, and this one is a army green, and this is leather, and this one measures approximately, let's see, let's see, this is about a six and a half as well, if anybody wants this, this will be $5, and we have this beautiful earring, hopefully find a match, that's gorgeous, I love that. Then we have a blue earring, very pretty. Don't know if this is glass or not, let's see. This one tests as glass. Let's see if we find a match, very pretty. Okay, oh, we found a match to the hoop earring that we saw earlier. These pearl earrings, and these are faux pearls, but they're beautiful. And they have a little shepherd's hook here. Let's see, is this sitting right? There we go. Okay, so now we are here, very beautiful. And these hoops measure approximately from the top to bottom two and a half inches. Very beautiful wire. If you can see wire wrapping. So if anybody wants these, these will be $3. Very fun earrings. Okay. A couple more items here. We have this, which is very interesting. It's very stretchy and slinky, sort of like an elastic band. And then we have these interesting, ooh, a bonus hair. Okay, somebody's hair got stuck in here. I'm gonna move that. These sort of really pretty stones here. I don't know if these are glass or, let's see. These are going up past glass, guys. Hmm, there's some bonus hair stuck here. Okay, so I don't know what these are. I wonder, oh, these sort of look like, you can see guys. Let's zoom in on this guy. They look like a, sort of like a druzy or quartz. It has that feel to them. Look at that. These are beautiful. These are stones. Oh, look at that druzy look. Gorgeous. Oh my God, look at this one. Wow, that is stunning. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, these are gorgeous stones on here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But let's take a look at this from afar and see exactly what we're looking at here. So let me bring in the Presidium and let's test these and see. So these are going up to 
the Garnet Tourmaline Iolite. But I think most Druzy stones are quartz, aren't they not? I think, maybe, I don't know. So let me know guys what you think these stones are. So interesting, this design. We have this elastic sort of twisted thing going on. So this is the top of it and this is the bottom of it. Very beautiful. Um, let's get a measurement on this. There is no closure on this. This measures in at, very unique design. This measures in at approximately 16 inch drop, 32 inches wearable length. Wow, this is just very interesting. I'm sure you can wear it as a bracelet too. You can wrap it around. That would be very cool. Very artisan looking in here. Let's see if we're gonna match to that. We have here a very, very beautiful blue, um, green and blue, milky blue necklace here. There is some wear here. See the copper coming through to the silver tone, lobster clasp. Let's get a measurement on this. This is about 18 inches with a two and a half inch extender. Let's see if these stones are glass. These are glass beads. Very beautiful. I love the colorway on this and the graduated. So if anybody wants this one, this one will be $6. That's beautiful. Okay, next, ooh, this is pretty. We have another one of these stretchy bracelets. These feel like ceramic. And these look like ceramic too. These are glass. And then we have some gold tone beads here. And then we have the pave disc again. So this is really pretty. I like this one a lot. This one measures in at six and three quarters. It's a nice stretch. Let's do six dollars on that one. Okay, we have a, ooh, these are pretty earrings with a leather back. Rose gold, I mean rose gold. I think this is rose quartz. Let's see if I match to that. Let's see what's here. We have a pretty necklace with a lobster clasp, no tag. Then we have these really pretty teardrop shapes with these faceted stones. I don't know if these are glass. Let's see. These are not registering as glass. I think they're just acrylic. Very pretty though. This is a beautiful necklace. There's no mark on this, surprisingly. Let's get a measurement on this. This one measures 14 inches with a two inch extender. And that's the back of it. Very beautiful. Let's do this one for seven dollars that's beautiful okay so we have this earring very beautiful rainbow colored enamel hoop earring hope we find a match to that one let's see we have this bracelet here with a triangle shape here i wonder if this is modern cowgirl as well this one has a mark this one says i don't know it says that it says the tm I think it says copyright WBEL. Not sure. So we have that. And I think this is a faux suede. It's not real leather. But this one measures in at about, I'd say, hmm, seven and a half, and it extends up to about a nine. It's cool. If anybody wants this one, this one will be $4. Okay, and we have a beautiful necklace here. Wow, look at the stations on this. I wonder if these are hematite. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oops, sorry. Hmm, they're going up past glass. So I wonder if they are hematite but there's no mark on this. It's a coppery chain. Actually, I think, hmm, 
it looks like it was gold tone because yeah, this side is copper. So I think the copper has come through and the gold plating has been lost on one side, unfortunately. But this is the top of it and this is the bottom of it. But the stations on here are gorgeous and you can definitely make earrings out of this. You could make one pair of earrings here. You can make another pair of earrings with this. You can make a longer earring or you can make separate earrings, several earrings out of this. So because of that and the chain itself is not in the best of condition up top, let's do $3 on this. I think it's still beautiful though. Okay, we have this earring here. Hope we can match to that, that's cute. Let's see, let's go through this first. We have this beautiful gold tone ball necklace with a little horn and hmm. let's see, it's very beautiful. I wonder, it's not magnetic. Could be very heavily gold plated. I don't see any tags or marks on it. Let's do a test. I'm curious to see. This is gold. <laughs> it has a really nice gold color to it. So I don't know. You never know. It's always good to test. But I don't think so. Let's take the 10K solution this and if the scratch stays put then we have possibly some gold on our hands does not stay put so this is just a very beautifully plated piece so you have the very skinny horn here and it's sort of done in a rosary style and a Y necklace too um, so we have the top of the necklace here and then we have bottom of it. Very beautiful. I think this is gorgeous. And beautiful chain. The measurement on this one is let's see, down to here it is about 32 inches wearable length. Very beautiful. If anybody wants this one, this one will be $8. That's beautiful. Okay, then we have a Lucky Brand necklace. And this one has a lobster clasp here. This one has two, two chains here. And we have these pieces, these cabs. Don't know if these are glass, but they look like they could be. So let's see, let's test. Hmm, I think they're acrylic. I think these cabs are acrylic, but we have this beautiful necklace here. And this sort of looks like a faux tiger's eye. That's beautiful. I love that. And this measures in at, let's see, this is in good condition. This one measures in at 16 inches with an extender of about two inches. So. That's really cool. Um, oh, actually, I do notice that there is some gold tone loss on this chain right here. So you can see that all the chains are gold except this one. So because of that, let's price this one at $5. It's still quite beautiful, but let's price this one at a dollar because of that gold tone loss. Okay, so next we have this, and this looks like a 1928 piece. Very beautiful. You can see the back there with the flowers. And this is really beautiful. And this is a 1928. There's the tag. Gorgeous piece here. This is very beautiful. I love 1928 jewelry. It's very vintage inspired. And this is just gorgeous. Very, very beautiful. It looks like a choker. I love this piece. <laughs> um, so let's see if these are glass. I 
don't think these are glass. I think these are acrylic, but it's very beautiful. You can see. Very sparkly. So let's get a measurement on this one. This one measures in. I'm going to do it from its shortest at 12 inches. So it's definitely a choker. And we have a very long extension here of about five inches. So it can be extended to 17 inches. But that is beautiful. I love that a lot. So if anybody wants this, 1928, this one will be $8. That's beautiful. Okay, let's see what's here in this little baggie. See a lot of silver things. Okay, what's this? Hmm. I'm not sure what these all are. Okay, I think that some are earrings. So you see the hoops. Okay. So we have, okay, so let's see. We have, oops. Okay. So I think these are earrings. And then you could thread these different, um, these different findings through the hoop and create different looks, I'm guessing. So that's cool. Um, not really sure. Oh, this one has a post. Yeah, so this is a very interesting set. And I think these are stainless steel, perhaps. Not 100% sure. Very interesting set of earrings here. We have some, these are cool. These are handcuff hoop earrings. That's really neat. And we have one of them here. So for all of this, these are really, really cool earrings. Let's do this for $8. Yeah. This beautiful hoop earring has a very Bali sort of Bollywood feel to it. Let's see if we find a match. We have this beautiful necklace. And I love these bead ball chains that sort of have the sparkly effect. Very pretty fashion piece here with the interlocking or the hearts that are on top of each other. Um, I don't think these are going to be more than glass, but I'm going to test and see. Hmm, these are, they're not even moving towards glass, so I think they might be just be acrylic. But this is very pretty. There is no mark on this. Very cute fashion necklace. 14 inches wearable length. Very beautiful. Let's do this one for $4. That's beautiful. Okay, next we have a ring and a package. Let's open this guy up. See what we have. We have another baggie. <laughs> this is gold tone, really pretty cab on this. Um, there is a mark on this and it says S925. I think I see that. So I wonder if this is for me. I hate to scratch this because I don't know. Let's see, let's scratch it from the back. Okay, and we'll take the 18K solution and see if this turns bright blue. If it does, then we have sterling on our hands. Hmm, don't see the sterling. Don't wanna ruin this. All right, I'm gonna try one more time. I'm gonna scratch really hard. I'm going to take the 18K solution to it. Hmm. I don't know, guys, if this is sterling or not. I know that some of my other Vermeer pieces, maybe this is really heavily plated. I'm not really sure. But we have this ring. And let's see. This is acrylic. I don't know if this is sterling, even though it says it's 
S925. But if anybody wants this ring, this ring measures in at, it's really cute, about a five and I'm going to say a five and a half. And then it has an adjustable back here. So I don't know how far it can go out, maybe just slightly. But yeah, I would say it's about, it's closer to five almost. It's really tight on me and I wear a size five on here. That's a fun ring. Don't know if this is sterling. I don't think it is. But let's do this for, it's a cute ring. Let's do it for $7. It's fun. Okay, we have that ring. Okay, next we have, oh, we have a match to the rose quartz earrings we saw earlier. These are pretty teardrop lever back earrings. I'm pretty sure these are rose quartz. Let's bring in the presidium to test. Let's see, oops, sorry about the wires, guys. Small spaces. This is going, no, it's not rose quartz, huh? No, it's not rose quartz, guys, sorry. Let's try one more time. No, nope, they're not rose quartz. So I think they're just acrylic, but they look like rose quartz and they're beautiful. So if anybody wants these, these will be $4. Very fun earrings, pretty lightweight. Okay, oh, we have a match to this earring, which I love. So beautiful. It sort of has like a raffia texture and these are seed beads here beautifully beaded and this is the back of them i wonder if these are marked it's gorgeous these are not marked it's the back of them these are beautiful earrings guys very fun and if anybody wants these these will be five dollars they're fun okay then we have a little earring like so we have a Silver tone stud. We have some thing in a bag here. Okay, let's see what these are. Oh, there's more of these guys. These could be titanium. I don't know if they are. No, these are definitely probably, I don't know, just silver tone or. Yeah, these are, I guess they're hoop earrings. And there's one of these things. Like I think you put in a piercing somehow. So I'm not sure what exactly these are made of. Maybe stainless steel, I'm guessing. But we have three pairs and then this little guy here. So if anybody wants this set, this one will be $8 as well. Let's see what this is. This is more modern cowgirl. This one's a hot pink. No, it's a, it's a red but this has sort of a shiny coating on it. And this one measures in at, this one's about, I'm gonna say about a six and a six and a quarter on this one. If anybody wants this one, this one will be $5. Okay, let's see. We have some more modern cowgirl. This one is army green. I think we saw this one earlier. Um, let's see. This one measures in at, this one's about a six interest. So we have that. This one will be $5 too. And let's see, a couple more items guys. Okay, let's take this out. Oh, we have a match to this raffia sort of, I don't know, twine earring balls. These are really cool. If anybody wants these, these will be $3. Those are cool. Then we have this bangle cuff with sort of like marcasite. I think these are marcasites. And I think they are all there. Can see if I'm getting close. And we have these marcasites. And this is a 
lucky brand. That's cool. It's antique silver. Very cool. Let's get a measurement on this guy. This one measures in at about six interest. Very cool. If anybody wants this lucky brand, this one will be let's do this one for nine dollars. That's cool. Okay, next we have this, and this says, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. That's really cool. That's a really cool bracelet. And this is on a faux suede cord with a knot here. So I guess it could be adjustable depending on your wrist, but it has a lobster clasp here, closure. Really cool, inspiring bracelet. This one measures in at seven and a half inches. If anybody wants this one, this one will be four dollars. Okay, we have this beautiful earring. I felt like, did we see this in the first part? I don't think so, right? I don't think so, but this is gorgeous. Oh. Okay, so let's see if we find a match to that. We have this earring, sort of marbleized, confetti-looking, plastic acrylic earring. We have this very lightweight filigree earring. We have, oh, we have a match to the blue earring we saw earlier. These are cute-looking half hoop, half circle earrings. Very beautiful. Gorgeous. I love these. And these are, I don't know if I tested these. These are, these are glass. Beautiful glass earrings. Pretty. Anybody wants these, these will be $4. Okay. And then we have this little guy. Pretty color, Let's see if we find a match. Let's see what else? Only a couple more items, guys, so I don't think we have a match to all of the earrings we saw earlier, unfortunately. So we have this blue earring here, very pretty. Wait, I see some, hmm. Nope, these will go into craft. They will be a dollar. I see some rubbing off here of the coating. We have this giant ring here, really interesting. There is no mark on this. They're a very beautiful big ring here. And let's see if this is a stone of any sorts. You never know, right? So let's test this guy. Hmm. So this is moving past glass. So I wonder if this is onyx or obsidian. Or maybe it's glass if this um, persidium is acting up. Maybe this is just glass. Let's get a measurement on this. This measures in at about a six, six and three quarters. Very beautiful. Faceted glass stone. And it does have a bit of weight to it. I'm not sure if this is onyx, obsidian, or glass. That is really, really beautiful. And it's, I think this is brass with the light gold plating on it. But that's what we have here. So if anybody wants this guy, let's do this one for $12. That's a cool ring regardless of what it is. Okay, then we have a match to the rainbow earring here. These are fun hoop earrings. I don't see a mark. Really cool. And these measure in at one and a half inches. Very cute earrings. If anybody wants these, these will be... I'll do these ones for four dollars. Okay, and then we have this little stud earring here. And then we have this ring. And this looks familiar to me. I don't know if this is Quicksilver. I think that is like a skateboarding brand. I could be wrong. So we have this ring here, and this one measures in at about 
about a seven. So if anybody wants this, this will be six dollars. Okay guys, so that was the end of part two. What do we think? I think it was a lot of fashion pieces. I think part one was definitely better. I mean, I love the earrings. I'm definitely an earrings person. Um, so I love the earrings. This ring was very interesting. Um, sad about some of the earrings that we didn't find a match for. Lucky brand is beautiful. What a modern cowgirl. Never heard of the brand before, but um, very interesting to find out about. This was very beautiful, the beads on here. These earrings, very fun earrings here. Very summery, very fun. Hey guys, um, let me know what you thought of this lot. I think it definitely was a lot of um, modern cowgirl stuff. Let me know your thoughts. I love hearing from you guys. Leave your comments down below. If you know anything about these pieces, please share your insights because I love learning from you guys because you guys are so knowledgeable. And uh, hit that thumbs up on the way out if you like this kind of content. And please hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell notification so you can be notified of my next video. And most of all, guys, be well.